So, today I am going to just have a look through this Wayfair catalog. So, I've never received a Wayfair catalog before. I have bought a lot of things from Wayfair. And I guess I finally, I'm not sure if they just started sending out a catalog or if I just somehow got onto the list. But I was so excited. Okay, so Wayfair has so many different things that uh, you can buy for your home. So this is All Things Home 2022. Okay. So I'm just going to sort of spontaneously go through. The catalog here. I have a little bit of tea. So I will stir the tea a little. As I go through the catalog. Okay. Okay, so I'll just put this here. Okay, so let's see. Did I miss the content? So you can see here the table of contents starts with home decor, which includes wall decor. It's a little better. Home decor includes wall decor, accent pillows, home accents and accessories, rugs, and window treatments. And then the next category is bedding and bath, which includes bedding, bed pillows and mattresses, bath linens and accessories. And then we have kitchen and tabletop, and that includes tableware and barware, cookware and bakeware, small kitchen appliances, and that's it for kitchen and tabletop. And then they have home improvement items, which includes bathroom remodel, tile and flooring, kitchen remodel, cabinetry, appliances, and lighting. Okay. So next we have storage and organization, and that includes closet storage, home cleaning, bathroom storage, kitchen storage, and garage storage. And next we have furniture, 
and that includes living room furniture, kitchen and dining furniture, office furniture, bedroom furniture, and pet furniture. And then we have nursery, kids and teens, and that just includes nursery, toddler and kids, and teens. And lastly we have outdoor, and that includes outdoor decor and curb appeal, outdoor lighting, outdoor cooking and grills, outdoor storage, spa, outdoor play, and outdoor furniture. So I think I'll just kind of choose one um, category to look at first, and we'll see how much time is left to look at everything else. So let's see, what should we look at? I thought that I would want to look at the bedding and bath, but for some reason I want to look at the outdoor furniture. <laughs> so let's see what, what we can find there. It starts on page 234. This would be interesting to the remodeling items. I didn't know Wayfair uh, sold those types of items. This is a pretty large sized um, catalog. First, we start with garden accessories. It says, colorful planters and whimsical garden decor bring your blooms to life. Okay, here we have some hanging planters. This is a Chris ceramic hanging planter, and that one is $34. Here are some pot planters, box planters. Here is another hanging resin type planter, and that's a set of two. That's $63. a um, ceramic planter. This one is $39. Here is a wood elevated planter. It doesn't have the size, uh, but the price is $60. Here are some iron Hanging planter set, and these are shown in gold. It's a set of two. Looks like it's available in multiple colors. And that is $34 for the set. And here are some, some more brown planters. It looks like, um, that called terracotta 
doesn't say that, but that's what it looks like. That's a set of three for $28. And here are some plastic elevated planters. It's a set of two for $57. some chimes, some garden statues. This is pretty. This is a Deborah Enlight Enlightened Buddha garden statue, and that's $57. Some garden accents, just like different lighting and stakes. This is a sunflower steak. Crackle Ball Garden Steak. Here is a Solar Peacock Garden Steak. Back to the statues here. This is a solar powered lawn ornament. It's like a little frog. So it's a statue, but it's also a light. And here we have a little gnome solar statue. That's $28. And some more chimes. Okay. Here are some things for Decorating the front of your house. Let's see on this side here we have quick and easy front door refresh. So we talk about doormats. A fun doormat can add a big dose of personality to your front door and will be one of the first things guests see when they arrive. Mailboxes. Updating your mailbox to turn a functional item into an eye-catching decor statement. From classic to vintage inspired, there are hundreds of styles to choose from. And then we have address plaques. A personalized address plaque is another functional item that can also double as decor and add to the overall curb appeal of your front door area. So here we See in this little set here, they have an outdoor wall lantern, lighting, here is a wreath for the front door, and let's see even the set here for the, the handle and the lock, the doorknob, they sell. Okay, another way to personalize the front of your home. Here is the outdoor doormat. This one says wipe your paws. And here they show That is a, um, let's see, a locking wall-mounted mailbox. I do like the shape of that. It's a little unique. Now I think I want to change my mailbox. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for the front door, Here are some doormats, 
This one is a welcome mat. Some cactus plants. Here's just a plain blue stone non-slip. And a non-slip doormat that says welcome. It has a few different colors it comes in. Okay, so the mailbox is here. This is a mounted mailbox. Let's see, it just has the little flag there. Looks like a traditional style mailbox. It's shown in blue, but it has a lot of different colors. And that's $28. And this one here, this is a horizontal wall-mounted mailbox. The color shown is Swedish silver. It does come in multiple colors. It's kind of nice. And this one here, this is unique. This is a wall-mounted mailbox. That one is $86. It's hard to tell what it's made of. It looks wooden, but it could also be metal. Hard to tell. And then the address plaques here. It's another way you can really personalize front of your house. Circular one. That's a vertical black. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, outdoor lighting. Okay, so styles of wall lights. This one here is um, shown in bronze. This circular sort of pendant shaped uh, fixture. Here, this one here is an outdoor barn light. Shown in Empire Bronze. Comes in different colors. These, um, are just, um, it doesn't really give a description. It's just a white light there. Sort of a common style that you see. Here's another outdoor barn light. This is in galvanized. And it comes in multiple colors. So then we also have landscape lights. Okay, which are nice to place around the house. These are common style solar-powered LED pathway lights. These look like they're in black, and you get a set of six for $28. And another that comes in a set of six. Okay, a little bit different style. This one is shown in antique bronze. Comes in different colors, and that set is $60. Let's see, this is pretty here. Uh, this one is shown in white. Lantern head. Not really sure. I guess it's a landscape light, but I don't know. If you can maybe... Um, you know, it doesn't come with the stake, maybe. It says it's the lantern head. another lantern head. This one is shown in stainless steel. Okay. And then we also have some string lights. Some 
outdoor LED solar powered globe string lights. They come in multiple colors. Okay, this one is shown in warm white. That's $25. Here is an outdoor solar powered LED mini string lights shown in warm white. Comes in multiple colors. And these ones are paper lantern string lights. Get a set of three. Comes in multiple colors. Here is some um, Wayfair Basics outdoor string lights, shown in black. That's sixty-one dollars. But again, it doesn't say how long how long it is. Okay, let's see what is on oh, this side. So this just kind of shows a back door scene here. Okay, they've got looks like a TV. It's just a folding frame. Let's see, it's a white portable folding frame. It's for a um, projector. So you can watch movies or whatever you'd like. The projector is ninety dollars. Well, the the frame is the screen, I guess. And then they have some pathway lights. Where are the pathway lights here? That's B. And they have a wicker sofa with cushions here. This one is. One thousand two hundred ninety dollars, and then they have a serving tray that is right here, and a floor pillow right here. Okay, so some ideas for decorating outside. And we have grills and smokers. They have a lot of different ones. They have gas grills, charcoal grills. Let's see, they have wood pellet grills, and they have smokers an electric smoker. That one is five eighty three. They even have sheds for outdoor storage. Okay, this shed it's hard to tell because I guess it looks pretty small. This shed is five seventy one. It's plastic. Okay. And then we have these um, boxes here. These are deck boxes. Water resistant. Okay, this one is two fifteen. And this one here is a little smaller. And it's a hundred and eleven. And then a couple more here. This is a cabinet deck box. And a plastic portable storage shed. And this one, it does give you the dimensions. This one is 10 feet wide 
eight feet deep. And that one is 1,564. Here is a metal storage shed. This one is six feet wide and ten feet deep. That one's 450. And this one here is another wicker deck box and another wicker deck box. Okay, here are the hot tubs and spas. Okay, so this one looks what had gotten my attention about this category? Okay, hot tubs and spas. Let's see, here's a large one. If it's six plus people. Let's see, this is letter D, I think. That's, that's just the steps. Let's see, where is this? I don't see where they're selling the actual spa. I don't know. There's a patio chair. The one is 430. The wall lantern here. The one is 302. So these steps for the hot tub are 112. The area rug down here, that one is 450. And the bar cart over here, that one is 130. Here is a messed up. Um, this is for the actual hot tub. It was hiding over here. This is a um, seven person jet hot tub with ozonator. That is 5,851. Okay. There's a little review here. Someone said it's a great hot tub for the price. It has lots of jets and is very powerful. The light at night adds a nice touch, and so does the waterfall feature. Okay. Then on this side, this is a different style. This one is smaller. This one fits two to three people. This is the Aqua Rest Spas two person 20 jet plug and play hot tub. Okay. The price is $2,520. Okay. And here we have a medium size. This one fits four to five people. This is the Tierra five person 60 jet hot tub with ozonator, shown in sand brown. And that one is $4,860. There's a different view of this one here. It's pretty nice. And then you have all of the outdoor little swing sets and playhouses. It's a cute little set there. $990. Uh, the 
two swings and a little hangy thing. <laughs> okay, a little slide, a little clubhouse area. Let's look at some monkey bars. We have patio seating. Lots of different sets. You can see it too well because the pictures are kind of tiny. But I know that they have a lot of different options for outdoor seating on the website. Gazebos, pergolas, and canopies. This one's pretty. This one is um pergola with the canopy and that's $2,282 and some outdoor heaters so here it gives you a little bit of um suggestion on how to choose an outdoor heater because there's different types. So first it says choose your fuel type. The most popular options are propane and wood. Propane fireplaces and fire pits are easy to light and maintain and they have a sleek, clean look. Wood burning fireplaces and fire pits are easy to install and are ideal for outdoor cooking. Okay, then it says pick your shape. For outdoor fireplaces, consider a round or rectangular shape or a chimney. For patio heaters, consider standing, hanging, tabletop, or wall-mounted designs. And then it says consider special features. Many heaters have built-in safety features, such as a tip-over switch and safety shutoff. For convenience, look into features like portability, remote control use, Included pilot lights and wheels. Okay, so they show a few different options here along the side. Let's see, this one looks interesting. This is a Serafina stone propane fire pit table. This one is $900. into outdoor dining. Okay, so... There really is a lot to look at here. And I think that, um, maybe I'll come back to this, but I think that that's enough for Day. I may change my mind, but thank you so much for watching. I do like going through these catalogs, so I hope that you enjoyed, and uh, thank you so much for watching.